Ah, Hereford. A charming little city on the English side of the England-Wales border. A place that not many people know exists, but is a really beautiful city, and was the birthplace of three really awesome people. Frank Oz, the voice of Yoda, singer-songwriter Ellie Goulding, and me. Hiya. Oh, yeah. The city of Hereford is known for three main things. This beautiful black and white house in its centre, bulls and cattle, lots of bulls and cattle, and the chained library and mapamundi, which are hidden inside this gorgeous cathedral in the city centre. I know I'm from Hereford and I'm biased, I guess, but it's one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the UK without a doubt. But the reason we're here today is to find the Mapamundi and the Chained Library. Now these things are hidden inside the cathedral. Well, not, not hidden, like you can get to them, <laughs> it's not a treasure hunt, but they are inside the cathedral, which, as you can see, is utterly gorgeous. Now when you go inside, you walk through past all the pews and you get to a gift shop. Through the gift shop is this cafe. And then through this cafe, which we'll come back to later, is a person who sells you a ticket, and then you get this sort of museum section where you get to learn what the Mappa Mundi is, what the Chained Library is, and why all of this stuff is so cool. You can see here a book chest, and you also get to learn how Chained Libraries work, and you've got this little book that explains how these books are chained and why, and you even get to kind of fiddle with it as if you are a monk looking after the chained books in the library. A very cool little detail before you then move on to the Mapamundi and the chained library. The museum section is amazingly thought out. It shows you what the Mapamundi is, when it was made, who made it, why, and why it's such an important thing. It's an incredible historical artifact that even includes mythological spaces, like the labyrinth from Crete, like the Garden of Eden, and the Tower of Babel. These are on the map. The Mapamundi was created around the year 1300, and it details the entire world as we understood it at that time. And that includes Asia in the north, Africa in the southeast, and Europe in the southwest, including, as I said, multiple mythological spaces and creatures as well from mythology that we believed were out there at the time. And Jerusalem is right in the center. This is one of the most amazing historical artifacts I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've traveled the entire world, and this thing is in my very hometown. I truly can't believe that you can just go and see it. Look at these creatures, look at these spaces. This is what we believed the world looked like at this time. Now what you're looking at here is the map itself. But then you turn around and you can see the wooden frame that it was originally housed in when it hung above the altar in the cathedral for all to see. Pass the Mapamundi and you enter the chained library itself, which is temperature controlled, light controlled, dusted by special people. This is the world's largest remaining chained library. And at the time, in medieval Europe, it was common practice to chain up your libraries. And when I talked to the archivist there, she explained that this wasn't actually to prevent theft, so much as the books just getting kind of mislaid by the monks and members of the clergy that would try and take the books away and read them in their chambers or whatever and lose them and forget where they put them, etc. It was just to archive them and keep them ordered, but it looks incredible. And when you look at this list here, this is a list of all the different places that these books were published, and you can see places all around Europe. You'll see Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Milan, etc, etc. Loads of cities all around Europe, but everyone spoke, wrote, and read in Latin, a universal language. Didn't matter where the books were printed, everyone could read it, as long as you could read, and of course, most people at this time couldn't. And so this was for academics and members of the clergy. This is amazing. This is incredible. It has absolute Game of Thrones vibes, of course, but the fact that this looks incredibly gothic and mysterious and 
atmospheric, for lack of a better term, is just the, the cherry on top. But it's also an incredible historical artifact. This particular section you're looking at, apparently, is a collection of Catholic books that were kept safe after the Reformation that Henry VIII did, <laughs> which is amazing. They were hidden and kept safe from him and the Reformation itself which is very, very, very risky, and you can learn more if you go visit the Chained Library in Hereford yourself, which, of course, I recommend that you do. Then, when you're done looking at the Chained Library, you can go out into a lovely courtyard and eat something from the cafe. Beautiful courtyard, obviously you can see the gorgeous outside of the cathedral, and then you can pick something from the cafe, there is a shop, and it's called the Cafe Monday, which I only just noticed, that's very quaint. And in the cafe I chose to get myself a scone, because that felt historical in English. So I sat down, I got myself a scone with the cream and the jam and all that, I put it on, and I had a lovely time. Look at that, did a decent job, and here's me eating it. Mmm, scone. Subscribe for books.